we're going to start with the class of math. So be ready with your, with your book. We're going to work on the book. Remember that this is going to be the first topic for the second partial. Today, we start with the second partial in all the classes, all the classes. Okay, everybody open your book, page number 31 and 32. We're going to work on those two pages today. The topic is subtracting whole numbers. We're going to subtract. If you remember in the first partial, we add. We add whole numbers. Now we're going to subtract. It's the same of the addition, but now we are subtracting. We need to know and remember the place value share. If you remember, we said it, the value of each number of each digit according to its position. If they are ones, if they are tens, hundreds, thousands, if they are ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then we have the millions. You remember that that was studied the place value chart. So we need to remember that too when we are subtracting. When we're subtracting. Now in page number 31, we have a problem. We're going to unlock this problem. So let's see a volunteer that wants to read the problem. Unlock the problem. One volunteer. Gabriela Gigures. Uh, Anti Bear and Anti Bona are two mountains in Alaska. Anti Bear is 14,831 feet tall, and Anti Bona is 16,421 feet tall. How much is taller is Anti Bona? Bona dan anti bear. Thank you, Gabriela. We are here. We have a question. How much taller is the mountain Bona than mountain bear? We need to know this. That is our question. We need to answer that question. So what we're going to do? We have two information. That mountain bear is feet tall, so we have that information, and the mount mountain Bona is. Here we have the information, the 16,421 feet tall. So how much taller is Monty Bannon than Monty Beer? So we are going to, we're going to first, we're going to subtract. But let's estimate. Let's estimate. Remember the estimation is like to random a number to know an approximate number that we're going to get. So what is the answer of 16 minus 15 plus? 16,000 minus 15,000 or 16 minus 15. If we have 16 minus 15, we are subtracting. We are going to have just one thousand. So this is going to be our estimate that we are finding that our answer, it can be close to 1,000, the answer for our subtraction. Now, remember that we have the two, the two information we have the mountain, the big toll for the Monte Beer, that it's 16,421, and the Monte for uh, Monte Bona, that it's 14,831. Now, step number one, what it says. Step number one, subtract the ones. Remember in the place value chart, the ones are the numbers right to the right, the first one. So we have one minus one. These are on the ones. So we're going to regroup to subtract the tens then, 400 to tens equals. So now let's just start with the ones. One minus one class. What is the answer? One minus one. Zero. 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 That's right. So we subtract the ones. Now it says regroup to subtract the tens. The tens. We're going to subtract two minus three, right? Can we subtract two tens minus three tens? No. No. So what can we do? Um. We cannot... That's right, Gabriela. We're, we cannot subtract two tens minus three tens. So we're going to add to the next number that in this case is four, that it's on the hundred. We're going to add for ten, one ten. So we're going, we're not going to have just two tens. We're going to have 12. Now this number two becomes number 12. 12 minus three. Two. 
12 minus 3, we are subtracting. Nine. Nine, that's right. So 12 minus 3 equal 9. So remember, in this case, we cannot subtract 2 minus 3. 2 tenths minus 3 because 2 is less than 3. So we have, we have to add for number 4. And now that number 2 becomes number 12. That number 2 becomes 12 minus 3. So since number 4 gives 1, 2, to the tens, so that number becomes, which number becomes number four now? Three. That number becomes three, that's right, because we are given one of the hundred. So it means that that number is no more four, it becomes three. So now we say three minus eight, but let's let's see here. We have four hundreds minus two, two tens equal to three hundreds. 300s and how many 12, 10s we have? We have 12. Let's write 12 here to complete it. Step number one, remember, first we start with the ones and with the tens. We regroup the tens to find out that we cannot subtract two tens. We have 12 tens minus three. And the 300s, and we have 300s here now, no more 400s. What it says is step number two. Two, regroup to subtract the hundreds. We're going to subtract the hundreds. So we have the hundreds, it's no more four, it's three. Three minus eight, can we subtract three minus eight? No. Yes. No, three minus eight, we cannot. So what we need to do? Add to the number, to the we other add number. to the next number, that is the thousand. That's right, so number three, it is no three, it's going to become number? 13. 13, that's right. Now we have 13 in that, we have 13. And number six, which number is going to become number six? Five. It's going to become number five, that's right. Number six, it's going to become number five. I'm going to write five here in another one. Now, we have to subtract the hundred, it says. The hundred is this, 13 minus eight. Thirteen minus eight. What's the answer, class? Five. It's five, that's right. So we're going to write our answer down here that it's five. Excellent. Five. Now, then it says 6,300 is equal to having 5,000 and 1,300. Remember that number three, it's number three, it's now 13. So that's why we write 13 here on 1,300. And the 5,000 is no more 6,000, it's now 5,000. Now, what is the step number three? We continue subtracting. We subtract ones, the tens, and the hundreds. Now we need to subtract the thousands. What is the thousands? Remember, the thousands is the first number that is after the comma. Or before the comma here that we have six minus four, but six is no more six. It's five minus four. Can we subtract five minus four? Yes. Yes. Five. What is the answer of five minus four? one. One. one, that's right, one. Now we can continue subtracting one minus one. Two. One minus zero. One. It's zero, zero. So that's right. Zero. zero. We're, minus. Not, mm -hmm. we're not adding, we're subtracting. One minus one is zero. So now we have the answer. It is 1,590. So Mountain Bona is, we are going to write this answer, 1,590 1, feet taller than Mountain Bear since 1,590, it's close to the estimate. What was the answer of the estimate? We find out that it was just 1,000. The estimate of 1,000. The answer is reasonable. 
So in this, in the answer, we're just comparing the answer of the estimate with the answer that we got. So the answer of how much taller is Mountain Bona than Mountain Beer is that Mountain Bona is 1,500 not a taller, bit taller than Mountain Beer. Mountain Bona is taller than the other mountain. So any question class? Lucia? I have problem for my internet. Okay. Mia, you have any question? No, no, no. No? Okay. Okay, I'm going to explain one more time. Remember, what we need to do here, we're, we need to find the answer of our equation. How much taller is Mount, Mountain Bona and then Monte Beer? They give us in the exercise, we have the information for each of the mountains. So we subtract, we subtract. And remember that when we're subtracting, we follow the stats. We need to subtract first. We need to subtract first the one. So we start one minus one, zero. We move to the tens. Two minus three, we cannot subtract two minus three, but we can subtract 12, 12 minus three. So the number two acts for one, for 102, the four. So this four, it's no more four, it becomes three because that, that number, the hundreds provides one to the tenth. So now we have 12 minus three equal nine and three minus eight. So three minus eight, we cannot subtract. So again, we ask for the next number. We ask for one thousandth to the thousands in this case, that it's number six. So number six provides one to the Three, and it becomes 13, 1300 minus eight equal five. Number five, number six is number six, it becomes five. So five minus four, we can subtract five minus four. So we say five minus four equals one and one minus one equals zero. So equals zero, so we have the answer. Questions about this uh, problem? No? no? Okay, let's go it's, to page 32. Tell me, Rebecca. In addition, all the, all the exercise siempre is um, no sumando, sino restando. Yes, it's the same of the addition. In this case, we are subtracting. We are not adding words subtract, but it's the same. We need to follow the same steps. Okay, let's go to page number 32. Here we have more exercises. Now, in this, this is the same exercise of number one. What is inverse operations? Remember, inverse operations, it's undo each other. Addition and subtractions are inverse operations. So you can use addition to check a subtraction problem. We can add, we can add to check if our answer is correct. So we, need, we can check our answer in this way. Remember that this value, the 16,421 and the 14,831, we subtract and we get 1,590. Now, how can we know this answer is correct? We can add the 1,590, that is our answer, plus the 14,831. So we can, we need to get if our answer is correct, our answer is going to be this. So we're going to check. Zero plus one, what's the answer of zero plus one? One. One, nine plus three? Twelve. Twelve, oh. five. we write two and we add one. Five plus, oh, okay, five plus eight plus one. Fourteen. Fourteen, that's right. So we write number four and we add one. Okay, the comma. Now, one plus one plus four. Six, six that's right. And one plus zero is going to be the one. one. Look here, check here. Our answer is correct. How can we know that it's correct? If you look, if you look, this 16,421 is the same here. So 
we can add, we can add to check our answer and our answer must give us this amount. We check and we see that they are the same. So it's correct our subtraction. So it means that this answer is correct. So that they are inverse operations. Inverse operation, the addition and subtraction, we use them to check if our answer is correct. Now let's subtract, let's continue subtracting. We're going to subtract these two numbers, these two amounts. We have 637,350 minus 43,832. So we're going to use this spade the creed to subtract. Your book, you need to complete this class. Remember to write the numbers according to the value they have. So we need to write ones under ones, 10 under tens, and 100 under hundreds. In this case, 43. So four, it's under three because that is the value of four. It's on the 10 tau. So we're going to subtract this. Which numbers we're going to subtract first, class? Which numbers? The two. The zero minus two, that's right. Zero minus two. What's the answer of zero minus two? Two. Two, are you sure? Can we subtract, subtract zero minus two or not? No. No. The five one to the zero. That's right. The five give one to a zero. So this five becomes which number? Four. Number four. And the zero becomes which number? The zero four. becomes number 10. That's four. right. The zero becomes number 10. Remember, excellent Mia four. The five gives ones to zero. So now we don't have zero. We have 10. And the five becomes number four because he gives one. It's like when you have a candy. If you have five candies and you give one to somebody else, you are not going to have five. You are going to have four. And that person is going to have 10. Yes? So that's the same here. Now we subtract 10 minus two. It's well, eight. That's right. So we write eight here down. Excellent. Eight. And we continue subtract. Four minus three. We continue with the tens. Four minus three. Who knows the answer of four minus three? Two, four minus three equal two. Bam! One, one, that's one. right. Remember, it's no more five. You have to cross it out. You have to give a cross to the five, and that becomes four. You can use another color to write. You can use another color, like here. I'm writing here, so you, you don't forget that five is no more five. It's four minus three equal one. Now we continue. Three minus eight. Can we subtract three minus eight? No, we no. cannot subtract three. Three is less than eight. So we say we cannot subtract oh, three. Seven, oh, mm -hmm. seven, one. Number seven is going to give one. That's right. So number three is going to become which number? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's right. That number is going to become thirteen. Number three is going to become thirteen. And number seven, which number is going to become? Number seven gives one to number three, becomes 13. So number seven becomes number? Seven oh, gives six. one, six. That's right, number seven becomes six. So now we say 13, remember that this three, it's not three, it's 13 minus eight. Five. Equal five. Excellent. 13 minus eight equal five. So we write down five. Oh. Don't forget to write the comma because we start with the count. So 
Now we say number 13 minus eight equal five. We move, we write the comma and we say six. Remember seven is number seven. It's six minus three. What's the answer of six minus three? Three. Equal three, that's right. Six minus three, three. Now we continue, we subtract six minus three equal three. We go now to here, we have three minus four. Can we subtract three minus four? No. No. Yes. We can say six, 63 minus four. But in this case, we have three minus four. So three minus three, we cannot subtract, right? So we need to, again, do the same. Three is going to become 13 and five, and six is going to become number five. Mm -hmm. Or we can say six, 63 minus four, direct. But we're going to do it in the other way. Three is going to become 13, remember? Three is going to become 13. Go to right here, 13. And number six is going to become number five. Remember that number is going to become number five. So now 13 minus four, what's the answer of 13 minus four? Nine. Five, nine, that's right, nine. And five minus zero. Five wow. minus zero, it's five, that's right. If you say 63 minus four, you get 59, it's the same. So you can say 63 minus four equal 59, or you solve 13 minus four equal nine, and five minus zero, 59. So we have our answer. 593,518. 1518. Copy this. Yes, copy this in your, in your book. So remember I that when it. we are subtracting, we need to regroup. We need to check and think about if the number that we are subtracted, can we subtract or we need to ask to borrow from one. Like this, zero minus two, we cannot subtract it. We need to subtract 10 minus two. So we ask for one to five. So five is no more five, it's four because he gives, he gave one to the 10. So it becomes four and zero becomes 10. 10 minus two, eight, four minus three. We have one. Now we have three minus eight, but three, we cannot subtract three minus eight. So we ask and we get 13 minus eight equal two. Five, number seven, since he gave one to them, 13, it becomes six. Six minus three equal three. And then we subtract the last digits. 13 minus four, nine, and that number is five minus zero, it's five. Questions about this, class, about this, the subtraction. Mm. Uh, I don't know uh, about this answer. Don't worry, we are going to continue practices. Continue in the exercise number two in the same page. Same page, number 32. I have in comments. Tell me. Uh, all the exercise we doing this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all the numbers are cross up. Yes, cross -up. because we, they were asking for a number to subtract, yes. Now let's go. Did you finish the copy this class? Yes? Okay, let's go to the next slide. Let's go to here. We're going to continue. Class, we're going to continue working. If we don't finish, you need to finish to work on this page by yourself, okay? We're going to try to finish in class. If we don't finish, we're going to finish and tomorrow we can finish. But let's start with this. What we're going to do, we're going to subtract 14,659 minus 11,584. So which numbers we're going to start first? We're going to start with the ones. Nine minus four, can we subtract nine minus four? Yes. Yes, what's the answer? Nine minus four. Five. Equal five, that's right, so we write number five. Now, five minus eight, can we subtract five minus eight? No. No. So we cross number five, and what we're going to do? We're going the six to give you one of the five, the number five, we're going to 
15 and a 6 in pi. That's right. I need to regroup. Number five is going to become 15 tenths and number six is going to become 500. That's right. Excellent, Rebecca. You explained so well. So we have now 15 and 5. 15 minus 8. What's the answer of 15 minus 8? Six. Six. Seven, that's right, seven. 15 minus eight equals seven. Now we have five minus five. Zero. Zero, that's right. We write the comma, we write the comma, remember. And we continue, we have four minus one. What's the answer of four Three. minus one? Three. Three and one minus one. Zero. Zero. How do you read that number? 3,075. 3,075. That's right. We can write that zero or we can leave it just in this way. We know that one minus one is equal zero. We can just give number three here, but it's better to write zero so you don't you don't forget that that answer is zero. So we have we have 3,075. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. Let's continue with the next one. We have 456,912 minus 37,800. We're going to start with the one. So in this case, we start again, two minus zero. Can we subtract two minus zero? Yes. Yes, yes. what's the answer? Two. two. Two, that's right, two minus zero, two. One minus zero, can we subtract one minus zero? Yes. Yes, yes. what's the one. answer? One. one, that's right, one. Nine minus eight. One. 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 That's right. Nine, nine minus eight is one. We can subtract it because oh, nine is greater. Six minus seven. Can we subtract six minus seven? No. No. So what were we going to do? To another number. We are going to ask to another number. That's right. So we're going to regroup. So number six and number five are going to be in that the value. Number six is going to become number 16, 16, 16, and number five is going to become number four, remember. So 16 minus seven, what's the answer of 16 minus seven? It's nine, that's right, nine. So we write number nine and we subtract four minus three, one. Equal one, one, that's right. Four minus three, one. And four minus zero. Four. four. It's four. Four minus zero equals four. So we have our answer. Four Excellent. Four hundred, twelve thousands, one hundred, nineteen thousands, one hundred twelve. Excellent. Excellent. So don't forget, when we can subtract two minus zero, we subtract. So we need, we don't need to add to the next number in this case, because number two, we can subtract. One minus zero, we can subtract the same with nine minus eight. Nine mm -hmm. minus eight equal one. But if what happened with six, we cannot subtract six minus seven. Okay. So we regroup it. Tell me. The time you finish. Yes. Any question about this class, about subtraction? Try to try to work by yourself. Tomorrow we're going to continue oh, with yeah. this. Don't forget, don't forget that your homework in math is to study the table of eight and the table of nine. I'm going to ask the it's table of eight and of nine on Wednesday. Okay, bye-bye class. If you finish, you can go. You can you are dismissed. This Tell me this homework in the in, in group saying in the third tiempo. Why? In the third class, a table. It's going to be the third date of class. So the oh. third date of class is Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I'm going to ask you the table. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, class. See you next class. We know. I don't finish.